Are you the king of the Jews? If my kingdom were of this world, my servants would have been fighting, that I might not be delivered over to the Jews. But my kingdom is not of this world. So you are a king? You say that I am a king. For this purpose I was born, and for this purpose I have come into the world. To bear witness to the truth. Everyone who is of the truth listens to my voice. Pain is an unpleasant sensory and emotional experience associated with actual or potential tissue damage. Pain is usually transistory, lasting only until the noxious stimulus is removed or the underlying pathology has healed. But some painful conditions, such as rheumatoid arthritis, peripheral neuropathy, cancer and idiopathic pain may persist for years. Pain that lasts a long time is called chronic, and pain that resolves quickly is called acute. Traditionally, the distinction between acute and chronic pain has relied upon an arbitrary interval of time from the onset. The two most commonly known markers being three months and six months since the onset of pain. You may ask yourself why. What possesses a person to do this kind of thing? Well, it's not for money, fame, or anything superficial. Although some may enjoy financial gain and recognition, that isn't a reason we do it any more than a painter paints just because they think it'll make them rich and famous. We are a people who simply find pleasure in seeing how far we can push our bodies. It's really no different from a runner or a weightlifter who pushes his limits to see just how much his body can handle. Hail, King of the Jews! See, I am bringing him out to you, that you may know that I find no guilt in him. Behold the man. Crucify him! Crucify him! Take him yourselves and crucify him. I find no guilt in him. We have a law, and according to that law, he ought to die, because he has made himself the Son of God. Where are you from? You will not speak to me? Do you not know that I have authority to release you and authority to crucify you? You would have no authority over me at all unless it had been given to you from above. Therefore, he who delivered me over to you has the greatest sin. all degrees of intensity, from mild to intolerable. Factors of duration and frequency of occurrence usually compound that of intensity. Attitudes towards suffering may vary widely in the sufferer or in other people, according to how much it is regarded as avoidable or unavoidable, useful or useless, deserved or undeserved. There is a psychological reward for attaining a new height in physical accomplishment. A sense of self-satisfaction that brings about an inner peace. 
can't be attained without a little fear and pain. That psychological reward, that inner peace, is what I think of as the best medicine for a damaged soul. It's like a therapy. You can't even buy this kind. And if it's done right, it doesn't hurt. Not really. Once you've hurt yourself enough, on a regular basis, your body stops freaking out. If you release this man, you are not Caesar's friend. Everyone who makes himself a king opposes Caesar. Away with him! Away with him! Crucify him! We have no king but Caesar. Behold your king. Away with him! Away with him! Crucify him! Shall I crucify your king? We have no king. It is finished. Unpleasantness, another synonym of suffering or pain in the broad sense, is used in physical pain science to refer to the basic affective dimension of pain, usually in contrast with the sensory dimension. Suffering and pleasure are respectively the negative and positive effects that psychologists often identify as basic in our emotional lives. The evolutionary role of physical and mental suffering through natural selection is primordial. It warns of threats motivates coping and reinforces negatively certain behaviors. Despite its initial disrupting nature, suffering contributes to the organization of meaning in an individual's world and psyche. It's easy for naysayers to look at someone like me and assume I'm a waste of space with no real motivation. And that could not be further from the truth. Despite the challenges and tragedies I faced, I strive to live life to the fullest every single day. I take nothing for granted. If you call that a freak, and so be it. Suffering, you would have no it's authority to over me at, at all, unless, unless it had been given to you all from above, and no real motivation. From my Therefore, he who delivered me over to you, factors of duration and frequency Despite of the challenges and tragedies I compound faced, that of intensity. I strive to live life to the fullest. Attitudes full. towards suffering Every may vary widely. Day in the sufferer, I take nothing for people, granted. According to how much call that it is regarded as avoidable. And so or be it. unavoidable, useful or useless, deserved or undeserved.